Right, I'm Darren Wilkins. I'm the uh, chapter director here at Warriors BNI. Uh, we meet at Six Way Stadium every Wednesday morning. We tend to arrive around 6 a.m. Visitors turn up around about 6:30, 6:45 for a seven o'clock start, where we uh, start the uh, BNI uh, agenda and the sit-down meeting uh, commences and uh, starts to pass business to each other. The Rugby Club is, is an amazing venue. Um, it's really prestigious as well. So when you do invite people, it's, it's quite good to say, you know, we're at the, the Worcester Warriors Six Way Stadium. The nice thing about it, you've always got someone to support you. You've got a problem, they'll always come and help you out. Uh, there's always a, there's a, there's, they're all professionals and uh, a nice bunch of people. Okay, the atmosphere here at uh, the Warrior BNI meetings are, you know, it's a very light-hearted way to do business. We're a good group. We all get on, um, welcome new members to come on and uh, and see it for themselves. Where you know we make passing business good fun. I find the Warriors chapter BNI very lively meeting. Um, it's really good to have all the members passing business to each other. But when you get up at this time in the morning, it's nice to also have some camaraderie and a bit of friendliness and humour. We're quite energetic, it's fun and that's probably why I enjoy it so much. Um, yeah, it's a really, really friendly group. Um, I really love it here. This morning's B&I meeting we had uh, Simon Beaumont from the uh, Flying Sound Company. Uh, and Simon is uh, an excellent person, he's a, an excellent guy, he's got a very, uh, a very uh, clever concept of uh, doing silent discos. Sounds a bit odd, but what it allows you to do is to play music longer and later in venues that don't allow music, say, past midnight. What Simon's concept is, is everyone has headphones on, um, plays two channels of music, so you know certain people can listen to one a genre of music while another section of people can be listened to another genre of music. So everybody can still talk at the bar, there's no loud music to contend with. Everybody can have a conversation. At the same time, everyone's on the dance floor having a dance to music that they like. It was a new concept to me when I first met Simon. Um, but now, and I have been to some events, the silent disco, I'm sold on it. I, I was impressed. I've, I've never heard them before, but I love this, the, the actual idea of the silent the, the disco. Uh, it's, not, um, it's not something I was immediately attracted to, but I, but I think it really works really well. I was quite keen to get his 10 minutes slot in again, really enjoyed it last time. And he's done it again, yeah, really thoroughly enjoyed it. It really changes the morning a bit. So yeah, he did a really good job. Silent Disco is a fab idea. I've, I've spoken to Simon about it um, and heard him explain his business model, but actually till you experience it yourself, you can't really understand it. But yeah, I think it's a brilliant idea. I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was a really clever concept, uh, played some great music and uh, was able to have a, a bit of a dance at quarter to eight in the morning, which you don't do every day, so. I really enjoy it. I mean, you must do to get up at a crazy time in the morning that we do. Um, I'm cu currently the Secretary Treasurer, so yeah, I'm going to be here for a good sort of another 12 months and I, I can't see that changing after that at the moment. Yeah, it's been very positive. I've actually been a BNI member now for, I'm going into my ninth year of BNI membership. I've been on the leadership team uh, on probably half a dozen occasions. Uh, so I see that my future in BNI, you know, it's, it, it, well, it's going to be part of my uh, marketing strategy for some time to come. I get too much out of it, you know, to really, you know, to think about not, not doing it. Uh, since I've been a member of BNI, all my other advertising and different um, books and stuff, I've got cut out completely. Uh, this is my sole um, area where I concentrate on now, and this is where I get, you know, probably 40% of all my new business comes out of BNI. I've only been a member a few months, so I'm a recent member to BNI. I've come previously as a visitor um, and enjoyed it but decided then to make the decision to actually become a member. b and helped me to generate a really good uh, client base, um, also getting good referrals each week so I can develop it and obviously whatever I ask for, people usually have a connection to who I need in the group, so it's been fantastic. Well, I've, as I say, I've been a member for 11 years. At the end of the day, it works at bottom line. When I first found out about b and I, I resisted joining for 10 months. I kept saying, why do I want to join BNI? I'm very, very busy as a garage. That's I was very busy as a garage back then. But then I didn't know what the word busy really meant. Now I am far busier than I've ever been, even in this double dip recession. Uh, I employ more people now. When I joined BNI, there was myself, a mechanic, and an apprentice. I now have myself, obviously, a full time office girl, and four mechanics. That's three years of being high.